everyone, this is Kimi Matsuzaki. Thanks for joining us for our first episode at Comic-Con 2009. We just finished sitting in on the Assassin's Creed 2 panel and we're going to go have a chat with Pierre Raymond from Hybrid. But first, let's take a look at highlights from the panel. So whereas with the first game had maybe four or five mission types, we've got over 15 now. And whereas in the first game... So I promise you'll be very happy with the uh, changes that we've made. Today is a day where uh, we will uh, talk about convergence, but we'll especially show what we mean by convergence. Movement. So this guy hasn't noticed me yet. I'm hanging out by the ledge. And so I'm going to show you a new form of assassination, which is assassinate from ledge. Grab the guy, toss him out. In the movie, you will find out how is Giovanni's fate is linked to uh, Ezio's story in the game and the overarching Templar assassin conspiracy we are developing in Assassin's Creed. When you watch the film series and when you play the game, you will have an enhanced experience. Um, and that's, that's, I think, very, very important in the ways we are doing cross-media. So that's cool, but this is going to be a lot cooler. Assuming I can pull it off. So Yes, there we go. We partnered with uh, Hybrid Technologies. Hybrid is a very well-known uh, post-production VFX studio, um, pretty much famous for movies that um, they um, basically helped to, uh, to create, talking about 300, talking about Sin City, and many others. This really was a collaborative process, and it was really born out of a desire to further explore and expand our universe. On our way to making such projects, not only are we learning great stuff um, for making those projects, but we're also learning a huge amount of knowledge to help us make better games. But how is it possible for a stunt guy that start to fight, you know, and doing all of these moves, and believe me, they fight, that to know that he is not, you know, passing through a wall or falling on something which is going to be there, and after I'll be forced to move back, change the entire environment. If I change the entire environment, when you guys will start to play, you will realize that the barrel is not there anymore. Well, we want to be connected to the game as much as we can. Um, my name is Pierre Raymond. I'm the uh, president and CEO of Hybrid Technology, and we are a division of Ubisoft and producing right now uh, um, a film series for Assassin 2. A hybrid acquisition from Ubisoft was uh, directly in the philosophy to be able to extend from the IP that Ubisoft owned uh, through different kind of product um, their IPs. And uh, it was very clear from the beginning of the conversation that it will be very interesting from the fact that when you think about it, they are storyteller to do more than a game with the story that they own. And the idea came very rapidly that it will be nice to introduce and to do some film. And after that, the decision was, it will be nice to do a film that reveal a little bit more and prepare a game, a gamer, to play the next generation, which is Assassin 2 in this case. We try to be very connected to the game team. And, uh, and the first thing that we came as an idea was to do a mutual, mutual casting. And it was a really big benefit because when we realize that obviously when they're looking for a casting for the game, when you have to shoot these actors, you're not looking for exactly the same attributes from them. The voice is not the only thing, the way that they move, the acting is what you're looking for. And we were very lucky because this mutual casting went tremendously well and good enough to be able to scan the actor and to send their face for the game, you know, and to have a real strong connection. We decided to not do a mandate and to do extrapolation the way and to build the environment that we need for our story. We said, no, we're going to import and use the real environment from the game and use that in the film series. This way, a gamer can navigate find the place where the camera was and said, oh, this is where the shooting happened. And we're very excited to achieve that. And that's it for today. Thanks for joining us. There is so much more to show you, so be sure to check back on events.ub.com. This is Kimi Matsuzaki bringing you Comic-Con 2009, direct from the source.